all right guys so welcome back so today we are going to be making a few edits this is an easy video we'll be focusing on gpo so this gpo is to basically uh, configure your group policy to disable firewalls across your your network so each time you join a computer to the domain each time a new system you don't have to worry about disabling the firewalls and all that stuff so let's go ahead and um fire up my hyper v as you can see i got a lot of machines and you know you don't want to have to have to go through and do disabling so we're going to use a gpo so whenever we need to um add a new system it's automatically disabled all right so we're going to go ahead and fire up my domain controller and we're going to log in this should be an easy really easy um edit all right so with my domain controller i want to go ahead and go to gpos and we're going to be creating a new gpo on this box all right so under group policies you have the defaults here i'm going to go to the new and i'm going to call this disable windows firewall all right and i'm going to link this up to the top here so i want to link this to the, the top and i'm going to enforce it so i want everybody um to get it and then now i'm going to go ahead and go to edit so basically this is going to be applied to the entire domain all right so we're going to be looking at um this is more like a, co a computer configuration and uh, it falls under the computer and not the user so when you go to computer you have computer configuration you have user configuration and this i said earlier you just need to know which ones you're working with so this one is a policy on the computer and it should be um administrative administrative uh, templates so let's bring this over and then we'll go down here and then once you go to administrative templates you're going to go to network and then you should see network again somewhere under here so depending on how yours is set up you want to go to network and then find network connections because group policy affects the network and then we're going to disable windows defender right there you have the domain and you have the standard right so we're working on the domain level so you want to click on the domain and we can go over here oops and let's extend this out and basically right here you're looking for where it says um protect all network connections so where's my mouse sorry this thing right all right so protect all network connections right here and you want to go ahead and disable it that's the really easiest way to do it just disable it and then come back and click apply click ok so this is going to affect domain policies okay um so you want to disable everything that's in the domain and then if you go to standard you can do standard profile as well same thing protect disable all and click ok all right so this is basically all you need to do for disabling the firewall and you could have also do this on a powershell script but this should be this should work um i don't think there's anything else needed um because if you if you forgot to show you something if you look at it i will tell you if you disable this policy windows defender does not run this way is to ensure that windows defender firewall doesn't run and administrator can log on locally yada 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 Okay, so it's the same thing. When you read it, it will, they will tell you what you need to do. If you enable the policy, this is what's going to happen. If you disable this policy, it does not run. Okay, 
so that's basically it guys really simple um you can close this out and what we're going to do now go back to here and i want to add i want to add all domain computers so let's go to add all domain computers okay so all domain computers i want to make sure we'll get this and then let's do all let's just to make sure that everybody gets all domain users okay all right basic targeted we're going to refresh over here and that's that's set and then now let's double check this so i have a system that i have not touched it is a wsus box that i've been working on because um my next video will be configuring wsus so i'm going to go ahead and log in as administrator here and um, we're going to use this to test so i'm logging as administrator i want to go to firewall and i want to check to see if my firewall is on so you can see outbound connections right here firewall is on firewall is on firewall is on okay cool no worries we can do this in many ways this computer is not on the domain as yet so everything that's locally this is going to be this is a new system that you'll see like this okay because it's not joined yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to new pc because i want to change this name and i want to add it so i call it wsus and i needed to add this computer to the domain so it's part of the work group i'm going to add it now to the domain So chief that home that lab that's my home lab well, if we've been building click okay it's gonna prompt me uh oh so what's happening all right so c h e i f man i'll be killing these spellings <sighs> typing too fast or something so I want to go ahead and do chief that home that lab click OK it's gonna prompt me to log in I'm gonna go ahead and log in all right and then this is for joining this computer to the domain click OK it's gonna be joined should pop up and said welcome there you go welcome so like you said as you can see before we restart this machine as you can see this computer is not firewall right there firewall is not set okay so we're going to go ahead and do a restart right now so we can test this and then we're going to log in you need to log back in with a an account that has domain privileges okay it's a domain user because remember over here it only applies to domain computers and domain users so if you're logging in as a regular user and not into the domain it's not going to work i have a problem with i before e and e before i for some reason i, t I type the e before the i i don't even know why All right so i'm logging with my domain account and there you go so i am logging into my domain we're going to test this you should see the group policies when they're being applied. It should show up right here. If you take a look at it, you'll see. So all the group policies that I'm running over here, like uh, you should see them populating. So the drive map policy is over here. Mapping the drives. Um, printer policy, as you can see, I have a printer policy somewhere in there somewhere i don't remember but it should show up. what yeah there you go it's domain printer so all of those every group policy that i have pushing 
um, your systems, normally they'll run these group policy upon joining the domain. So now we're just waiting for this authenticate and login. Okay. Yeah, the I, the I before E has been killing me. All right, we'll pause here until it actually logs in. All right, seems like it's about to log in. I have the, there we go. So it's coming on for the first time. And um, server manager is starting up. So this is a new box. We will be configuring WSUS in our next video. So that will be in the next video. If you want to watch that, stay tuned to, um, to see that one. Um, I did BG info should show up here shortly um, based on the login parameters because um, that's also up and running. So I kind of like it because whenever I log in, I see like what's running on my systems. All right, so let's go ahead and check to see if this firewall is working. Ooh, look at that, baby. All right, so you can see right here for your security, some settings are controlled by group policy. And as you can see, I'm logged in. That means it disabled all of these. So all systems that aren't in the network, once they log into this domain, this policy right here, that I just pushed out to every computer on the domain is effective and it will tell you for your security these are controlled by group policy that's it guys really simple um GPO make your day go worthwhile thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video